Hello, my name is Paul, and I'm excited to take you through the latest update to Muse because we're right into getting into adding features after the complete rebuild natively of Muse. So you can see it does a lot already, okay? So it's really exciting, but there's features that have been added. So if we take a look, in fact, uh, at this site, which I've built in Muse, and I'm just gonna dive into this About page. And uh, this is something pretty common that you just need is the ability to add bullet points. So bullets, whether they're numbered, you can see I add them there, or actual bullets, you can add them there, or you can even add uh, custom bullets as well. So I can quickly add a new character like this black square, uh, adding that one, clicking OK, there's the black square, or even go with this fisheye look, which I like since it matches my site, done and done, and you can add bullet styles as well. But going beyond that, what I love uh, having the ability to do is adding my own custom web fonts. Now, it, you've been able to add your own fonts in the past, but it would be exporting it as an image, which sure, you have alt text that you can add to those images, but it's better if you could just use a font, it's gonna be better for search engines. Okay, well, how do you do that? Well, scrolling up, add web fonts right here. Because you'll notice you're given this new tab right here, self-hosted web fonts. And all you need to do uh, is you need to drag and drop those font files to this area right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have out here this font, taking those three, which we would have the WOFF, EOT, SVG, the true type I already have installed on my system, but it's just a matter of dragging those in. Okay. So make sure you have the properly licensed use for those. Click continue, and there they are. And you can check out uh, more options as well. So add as many as you want. Click OK. It says that they're added. So all you need to do is in your menu right up here, here's chunk five that I've added. And you can see I've added it right here as well. Okay, so that's easy enough to do, and I love having that capability. I've added it across my site, uh, but let's go into the contact page now. There's so much Muse can do when it comes to the widgets library, and we're always improving these various widgets. We had full screen slideshows we've added recently, but I'm going to take a simple contact form and drop it in. Okay, so this is great, I have all this control, but I also wanna protect my email address from spam. So that's why I wanna use reCAPTCHA or BC CAPTCHA. Now, keep in mind this has to be hosted on Business Catalyst, which it is already. So just checking that box, you can see that it adds it right here and we're good to go and there's more customization I can do as well as styling this information if I wanted to as well. But that's all I really need to do in this case to make sure I don't get any spam to that email. Now, uh, let's dive into this a little closer because we're dealing with some of the common concerns you'd have with a website and quite frankly, we need to make sure this is found. So it's nice that if we go into page properties for each one of these pages, we can go into the meta data. So I want to make sure I have a description and keywords, okay? And I can go into options because I can start to add the page name for each one of these pages. So I can have home. Maybe I want to have menswear instead of men's. I can change that as well. But let's go beyond that because it's not only going to help me having this for search engines, but having a sitemap.xml file that gets generated anytime I publish a site. So that will get made as well, which is hugely important. But let's take a look at this a little closer because I'm going to go into the page properties for this master page. So if I go into metadata, Right down here, I can add a page title suffix. So rather than having menswear paulsdesignshop.com and having to retype that Paul's Design Shop many times, I can just add this as the suffix there, okay? And that's all I need to do. Clicking OK, I can preview this site in a browser. You'd get that sitemap XML, but I'll go into the men's page and you can see right up here, uh, men's Paul's design shop and you can see that's good to go and then we also have this contact form that again I want to make sure I publish to business catalyst to test this out but those are really just a few of the features with the latest release of muse and don't forget just to go out to the muse features page and you can peruse all of the features I encourage you to do so thanks so much for watching